Okay, we have pretty softened butter here. I'm turn on our burner to get a little hotter. And then we're going to add three tablespoons of Hershey's cocoa. To the softened butter, and just a little more, little bit more, maybe a, another third or half a tablespoon of Hershey's cocoa, and we'll take two cups of sugar, relax our burner a little bit, just keep it warm. Then we're going to get a half a cup of milk. Vitamin D milk. A full half cup, don't short it. I mean a full one, a brimming half cup. Make sure you get it all out of the cup. You want all that milk. Take its time and then the butter is softened. The cocoa, the sugar, and the milk blend it up pretty good. Then you can get your burner started on high again, which you're gonna boil it with. And what seems to work best is as you get this mix stirred up where it's pretty smooth, you can see some lumps in it with the butter, and that's normally a good sign. This is a video. Here, scoop. Burner's hot. Once you get that stirred up pretty good, then we're going to go ahead and put it on the burner and set our timer. I normally set it for five minutes on high and then stop it at 4.30. That makes it where it normally boils about two minutes. So once we have that ready, I've got uh, my two cups of oats here. I'll mix into it. And I take the half a cup of milk, put some Pam inside the half cup, and I'll scoop my peanut butter little bit of Pam on the spoon. Scoop my peanut butter into the half cup. Where I get a good half cup of peanut butter. And you want it to be a full half cup, but no more than that. Full half cup. Okay, so now we're ready with our peanut butter and our oats uh, to put into our boiling fudge there. Let it boil, and what you want to watch for is for it to get to a full boil, where it's burning not just, I mean boiling not just from the center, but boiling from the outside to the center. You really want a full boil. And once you get a full boil, you let it boil for a little bit over two minutes. Like right now, the timer's been going for about two minutes. And you see the boil is only in the center. You don't see a full boil, okay? And the boil goes all the way out to the sides. That's where you really want it to be for about two minutes. And I keep my utensils all pammed up to 
this knife is what just scoops the peanut butter out when I put the peanut butter in. Turn the light on we can see a little bit, bent fan. So now it's been in about, let's see, two minutes, 20 seconds. Two minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah, making them for Quest. And you see the bowl is just about full now, which is good. Yeah, just thought I'd show Bob and Jeannie. Okay, so now we have Maybe another minute, minute and 10 seconds of boiling, and we should be good. And then once it's boiling full like that for two minutes, we pull it off the burner and turn the burner off, stop the timer, and then we'll put the peanut butter in, we'll stir up the peanut butter, and then we'll put the oats in, about a cup and then half a cup and then a quarter cup and just make sure we feel good about how many oats are needed. Then we'll, you know, have them all stirred up. Then we'll take it and we'll scoop out uh, about a tablespoon at a time and put it on a wax cooking sheet. Okay, we've got another 15 seconds to go here and it will have boiled, this mixture will have boiled for two full minutes. Four, three, two, one. I turn my burner burner off. Stop my timer. Move this off. Put all my peanut butter in. Gonna mix the peanut butter. Nice and smooth. From the center is the easiest way to do it getting all the peanut butters on the side. Once you feel like you've got your peanut butter mixed pretty smoothly, put in about your first cup, a little over a cup maybe, of your Quaker Quick Oats. Quest, will you turn that volume down just a bit? And we stir up that cup of Quick Oats. Then we're going to put in another good chunk, another half a cup probably this time and we stir it good then we'll put in another quarter cup maybe this time we start getting it to where the consistency is to where the fudgy mix will fill in from the sides pretty slowly, not fast, where it kind of goes to the sides like that and then slowly fills in. And it looks like we need another, maybe another eighth of a cup. And that's what we want right there. That's the consistency you're after. Now we don't take our, we don't rush, we, but we don't really take our time. The oats are cooking, okay? So we just kind of gradually move it over here and I'll move the camera. And we start scooping them out about a tablespoon at a time. And you can make some big and some small, depending on who's eating the fudgies. But if you've done it right, and you hadn't boiled it for too long, and you hadn't let it sit for too long, they come out pretty good. And you should make about 20.
Looks like we'll have 18 this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we got 18. And those are the fudgies. And you just let them sit for a couple minutes and uh, you should be able to peel them away from the wax paper after maybe two or three minutes. Uh, right now they're setting and it takes them a couple minutes to set. And after that, you just enjoy your fudgies. They're really good.